one more thing. That little fuel lever I was telling you about was seized up. I'm going to show you how I unseize that real quick instead of just telling you how to do it like I did earlier. Um, what I've got is the fuel lever assembly. And you see there is two separate halves to it on the inside where it slides into the pump. This is the holder that actually screws to the pump body and this is the part that pivots and I have actually gotten it worked so it's a little bit loose but it's still kind of sticky it should be totally free so you see how it it actually turns in itself there what you do is you clamp this end gently in the vise and let's see if I can do this with my knee And you don't want to clamp it real tight, just, just enough to kind of snugly hold it. And if you deform that, the end, it will never go back in the pump and you're, you're pretty well screwed. Um, this is how you maintain the orientation of your arm. You clamp it in the vise, and you see that your arm is pointing pretty much straight away. It's got a little bit of an angle to the right. Um, and you fold down your two lock tabs, which I already have and I already broke this loose and like I said I want I, th I thought for a minute I'm like you know what I should make a video because it's real easy and real quick I'll just show them how I'm gonna do this so you spin your nut off and you take your lock tab off be careful not to lose any of this and if you look close Sweating my eyes and everything. It's really hot in here. If you look real close, you can see that it's splined. So that's why I said if you're not careful, you can get it off a tooth or two. And what I do is I'll just um, I usually have two hands. I can get that to stay. If we, damn it! Of course, now this one wouldn't cooperate. They usually come right off. Okay. You see, I've, I've got it where it's just moving a little bit, and it is coming off. You got to be careful not to bend this arm. If you bend it, you'll never get the governor rod back in it. So you lay it back down in the same orientation you took it off that hole in the one side will help you maintain proper orientation and then you just kinda work this up and off of here and there isn't really a seal in it it's just a I guess what you'd call a mechanical seal the tolerance is so close the fit is that fluid can't travel through it so take that off and you want to clean it up with a rag paper towel and you see it actually looked really clean before anyway if you look through here it doesn't really look like there's a lot of stuff in there but just that tiny bit of wiping it off with a paper towel usually does the trick, although it hasn't this time, apparently. So, let's see. It's better, much better. It's just a little spray out with brake cleaner, and it's totally, totally free. And what I'll do is I'll just put it up at the top, drop a little bit of crawl in there. That was way more than a little bit, but and then make sure it's lubed on all of its surfaces. You see, that's how freely it should move. You should be able to spin it like a little toy pro propeller, toy plane propeller. If it doesn't move like that, 
it's going to cause you uh, like sticking throttle problems and hard start problems on the truck. So now we would take our arm and put it back on in the same orientation. Does it look about right? Because if we go to the next spline, see how much farther off that is? It's not really as fine of a spline as you might think. So if you use this method in the vise, it, uh, it's really hard to get the tooth out of position where it's supposed to be. Now if you just take it apart on the bench and lay, lay the pieces everywhere, you're probably not going to get it back the way it's supposed to be. But I'll tighten that down real quick, hold the tabs back up, and that's done. Alright, thanks guys, I'll see you later.